It's moving day, animal moving day. Moving lots of animals this morning. So I just moved these two little guys out. That was fairly simple. Here's the gate to their training pen. And I just moved the electric fence to the other side and they just walked on out. So I'm just watching them right now to see how these turkeys are gonna react to them being out. I did tie up my um, guardian dog puppy. He's patiently, not patiently, waiting over there to meet his new roommate. Um, just to give them uh, you know, a few minutes <laughs> without being pounced on. So they are enjoying having grass because they um, have been in this training pen and it quickly turned into a dry lot because they had three sisters who have gone to a new farm so we're excited for them and um, we're keeping these two boys as feeder pigs. They are, their mom is American guinea hog. <laughs> yeah, they gotta talk. And their dad is Idaho pasture pigs. So great um, pasture breeds. You can see they love eating the vegetation that's available to them. This fence is gonna be actually moved soon too because um, as you can see, we got some dirt spots in here too. So this area um, has been occupied by the turkeys and puppy for a while. So um, I just want to get the pigs in here and then I'm going to be kind of rearranging this fence and getting them a little bit more grass in here. But so far so good. We'll see how, um, how they enjoy all their new space and exploring. So I'm really excited about them uh, finally being out on pasture. So mom is right over here. She's in her new big area. She's chowing down. So I just kind of made a um, uh, pathway for her. So this uh, netting was on the other side of that gate. I let her out. Thankfully she came out and I was able to keep the two boys inside while she came out. And um, I had these hog panels I was gonna use as a barrier and I did on one side. And then I was going to have my family hold up another one on this side. And then my husband was like, well, why don't you just quickly run some poly wire? And uh, that should work for us. I said, oh, yeah. Then I don't need other people. <laughs> I can do it by myself. So I just did that quickly this morning. I just had a couple posts and ran some poly wire to make a little channel for her to walk or a path for her to walk over here. And then I have a gate kind of over here. I have two two strands of poly wire gate here. The rest of my fence is three because I had um, a pig walk through. The first time I came in there's only two so I added three but my gate only has two and then actually I just set this hog panel in front of this as a physical barrier too. So I had those two wires down as she walked through and I'm just putting them right back up. So this is the closest lot to her. Um, so she was moved in here, but she's actually gonna be um, leapfrogging paddocks to a new one. So I'm gonna be putting her with her sister, which is our other sow, and they'll be in a new paddock further back into the woods. But I had to get her to this close one, then I'll move her to the next one. Cause you can see this paddock has already been used and we're actually moving pigs off of it to overseed it um i'm thinking about overseeding with some like shade grass mix and red fescue and clover maybe some um fall crops i don't know if we'll actually get pigs back in here through the fall we might um, but i want to give this paddock a good few weeks to rest um, and start regrowing some of the vegetation in here so now that i got the mom and baby's moved. Now I need to move chickens and also rearrange um, for the baby pigs. I need to rearrange their fence. So lots of moving and I still need to work on um, getting pigs moved to further paddocks, new ones since this one has been used. So I'll still be moving animals throughout the day. <laughs> so Maverick is meeting his new roommates. <laughs> 
I think he's going to enjoy chasing pets. I'll give him something to do. <laughs> what you think, buddy? Are they fun? Huh? All right, so I've done a lot of moving around of animals today so far. I got my two sows together. Um, they're sisters, but apparently they've been separated for a while. So you can see how the interaction is not going well. <laughs> So I'm hoping they're going to get used to each other. If not, I'm thinking about putting a divider in here um, until they get a little bit used to each other, like through the fence first. We'll see. So I moved the chickens over to a new area. I had babies in this tractor. I thought to let them come out and start getting to know the big chickens well here's an issue with this netting it does not keep in little chickens <laughs> so they can just walk right through the netting so they have come outside of the fence they are staying close and we had this same issue um, with these big chickens over here when they first went in they did the same thing um, they thankfully they usually went in you know back in at night i think we did end up losing one chicken when they were out a predator got them so that is a concern i'm trying to keep an eye on these babies and when they go up tonight they may not come out tomorrow <laughs> i might just keep, keep them in that tractor for a little bit longer until they get a little bit bigger but i was wanting them to get out and scratch around on the grass I'll show you by keeping this netting close to my pig fence I don't need an energizer for it I just use a jumper from the pig fence over to the netting and that will electrify it so checking on the baby pigs that we put in over here and here's the issue so pigs like water puddles and they found the turkey water and dumped it over so they could make them a wallow. So that's going to be the challenge with these guys. They found some shade over here. So they are really enjoying the grass. We've seen them uh, eating the grass and hanging out. And the puppy has finally stopped chasing them. In the heat of the day, everyone's just hanging out in the shade. So, gonna have to figure out a new um, way to get them water without them tipping over. Because as hot as it is now, uh, end of uh, August, almost the first of September, uh, they need to always have water in here. But everyone's getting along and and uh, enjoying their new area. So, it's been an eventful morning, moving everybody. I'm watching the sows again. Hopefully, they'll calm down. But um, I was hoping these girls would be happy they got reunited. But I don't know. We'll see. I wanted to. Um, the one sow, her sister was in with our boar, so I wanted to separate her from the boar and get um, Mama into the woods. So that was the plan there. I'm just hoping that they'll get along after a while here. But um, that was our morning of moving. We move our animals around so they have fresh grass and spread out the manure load. Fun times. But I uh, hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, just let me know.